Friends, as I record this, we are in the midst of Holy Week. Uh, it is that momentous week in which we remember uh, those decisive events of Jesus' death and resurrection. And so that means as you prepare for church on Sunday, uh, that you are preparing to gather with God's people on Easter Sunday to celebrate uh, the joy of Jesus' resurrection. Uh, and as we gather for church this Sunday, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be continuing our study in the book of Acts. Uh, we're going to be looking specifically at Acts chapter 17 verses 16 through 34, which is this uh, very interesting and revealing passage where uh, we find Paul in Athens uh, engaging in conversation and debate uh, as he's sharing the gospel uh, with the philosophers and others on what's known as the Areopagus, the Mars Hill in Athens. And so uh, it's a very interesting passage for us. And a couple of questions to think about as we come to that passage. Uh, it's a passage in which Paul lays out the resurrection of Jesus and the importance of the resurrection of Jesus. And so as you prepare for Sunday, a couple of questions to think about. One question is, what is it that makes the resurrection of, of Jesus and the Christian understanding of resurrection different from other views uh, of the afterlife that we might encounter in our, our culture? Right? What is it about the, the, the resurrection of Jesus and the Christian's view of resurrection that makes it different from other views of the afterlife which we might encounter in our culture? And then a second question to think about is, what is it that the resurrection proves? What does the resurrection of Jesus prove? Why is it important? And so as you uh, read through Acts 17 in preparation for Sunday, there's a couple of questions for you to think about as well. And let me give you one more encouragement as you uh, look forward to Easter Sunday, and it's this. Will you, will you think through and pray and then invite someone who's not a Christian to join you for church on Easter Sunday? One of the, the beauties of Acts 17 is that it lays out the gospel and it lays out truths about who God is and what that means for us in such a way that it's meant to appeal to the unbeliever. That it's meant to appeal to someone who doesn't have a lot of background uh, in the Christian faith. And so let me encourage you to think through and pray and then invite someone who's not a Christian to join you for church on Easter Sunday so that they can hear about the great hope of the resurrection that we know. And friends, as you walk through this Holy Week, uh, I pray that the Lord will bless you this week. I pray there will be a special week for you as you take some extra time out to reflect on this last week of, of Jesus' life and, and all that it means. I pray that it would stir your affections. I pray that it would, it would illumine your minds. And I pray that you would, you would find much encouragement and conviction and motivation for your Christian life as you remember God's love for you in sending His Son to live and die and then rise again, that we might have life, and then we might know Him and enjoy Him forever. So friends, have a blessed Holy Week, and I look forward to celebrating with you on Easter Sunday.